If this year has taught us anything, it's that we can come together in more imaginative ways than ever before. This was the inspiration behind a new collaboration between Astro Artists, Play on Philly, and Mural Arts Philadelphia. In this series of virtual concerts, Astro and Play on Philly have joined together to create short performances by musicians of all ages and levels of experience. Each concert pairs works from the Mural Arts Collection with a specific instrument group, brass, percussion, woodwinds, harp, and strings. Welcome to a journey of expression and creativity through murals and music. Welcome to Young at Art. For me, a lot of my taste in art, whether it be music or paintings or murals, is based on my first impression. And when I first saw the mural Dreams, Diaspora, and Destiny, I was instantly attracted to the color scheme. I just knew I had to find a way to collaborate with this piece of art by the artist Joshua Mays and a collaborator DJ King Britt. Uh, then when I was looking for a solo piece, I kind of approached it the same way. I was just playing through solo trombone repertoire, trying to connect with something. And instantly I connected with a piece by the Dutch composer Saskia Apon called Herstic Triptych, which really means um, autumn in three parts. And ironically, the three movements of this piece are colors, and none of those colors are in this mural. So I found it really interesting that I was instantly attracted to one color scheme and a piece about different colors. And the reason I was attracted to this piece was because at first it's kind of overwhelming. I didn't make sense of it because I was looking at it through a microscope. And when I stepped back, kind of like you have to do to look at Dreams, Diaspora, and Destiny, the whole thing made sense to me. My eye in the mural moves from left to right, and I kind of feel like that's how you move through the selections I'm about to play, from left to right. The second movement has a number of segments, and on their own they don't make much sense. Kind of like the mural. You could excerpt one of those segments on the left and look at it, and there's so much detail in it. But when you look at it from stepping back and you see the whole thing, it's really, really beautiful. And then obviously there's this arrival destiny kind of moment with the girl in the center. And when I heard the third movement of this piece, I knew that was the, the music that correlated with that part of the mural. Now, something that's really, really cool is that, like I said, there's an artist, Joshua Mays, but DJ King Britt collaborated and actually wrote a musical score to this mural, which you can experience in person through an interactive app. So I really hope when COVID's over, we all get a chance to go see it in person. Thank you. 
The Akina Yamiro represents the stories of young people that have either immigrated uh, from Mexico to come to Philadelphia uh, or are young people who are stuck at the border trying to cross. And uh, the mural itself is a um, 
a, a combination, a reflection of all these different stories uh, and, and points of, of their stories um, really uh, manifested through the artwork of the young people that participated in the project. Um, my inspiration for Akina Ya uh, really comes from uh, honoring these stories, honoring the uh, the the moments and, and the journey of um, these young people who have crossed borders, who have been separated by their families, who have been reunited with their families in Philadelphia, um, but also are trying to navigate a new school, uh, a new community, learning a new language, um, and and not just uh, honoring their struggle, but really the importance of acknowledging and valuing um, their strength and their resilience and their beauty. And so uh, the Akina Yam mural is really inspired by that um, beautiful um, energy and, um, and presence uh, of, of the immigrant community and how important it is for them to be seen and heard. Hi, my name is Keith Holmes and I've been playing tuba with Plan Philly for two years. As a part of the Young at Art project, we explore how a piece of visual art influenced the way we play music on our instruments. The Pop Brass Studio chose the Aki Iyaya mural, which translates to here and there. This mural was created by Mexican and Philadelphia youth who are impacted by immigration. We love the way this mural showed African American and Mexican culture, and in that way, we connected it to our piece of music. We hope that you enjoy the Pops Brass Ensemble and Astro Artist Brittany Lash's performance of Santa Lara.